You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got some huge storyline leaks for 2024 that have just come out. Uh, One of them is tied to Cody and Dante, another to Cyrus Renault, another to the Cassidines, another related to Finn's trial with a big character return, and then another for Christina and Blaze. I'm going to unpack all of these for you, tell you everything that is leaked out. I'm very excited about these storylines. Let me know what you think. And... Definitely click subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's talk about these general hospital leaks. So the first one is about a return character tied to Cody and Dante's past. I'm not sure if this is someone coming back or a new character. It was phrased as a return, but then reading the description, uh, I feel like it might be a new character. So Cody Bell has lots of storyline coming to the front burner in 2024 already. Even before this leak, there's his smoldering slow burn romance with Sasha Gilmore. There's his new job as a deception model working alongside the woman he cares deeply for. Of course, Sasha's not ready for romance. And I mean, who can blame her given all the bad stuff that happened to her in 2023. And of course, Cody is still hiding the paternity secret that he's really Max Scorpio's son. But this thing with him being a model for deception is what spawns what happens in the leak. All of a sudden, Cody is in the public eye. He's going to be in magazine spreads. His handsome mug is going to be everywhere for people to see. And sure enough, someone takes notice and this person comes to Port Charles and it is a blast from Cody and Dante's shared past. So there's just not a lot of people, though, in Port Charles that have mentioned prior knowing Cody. And that's why I think more so than it being a return of a character we know that maybe it was phrased badly and it's a return of someone that Cody and Dante know. We'll see. Meanwhile, Damian Spinelli is in the mix. He is determined to prove Cody is awful and a scheming liar. He may ruin a loved one loved one's happiness over his quest for the truth, says this leak. And of course, Maxie is getting closer to Cody, not in a romantic way. I think they definitely feel that sister brother vibe, especially Cody, because he knows. Meanwhile, Felicia Scorpio is working on her own investigations to get the answers to confirm her suspicion. So lots happening for Cody in 2024 if you enjoy him. And if you don't, well, Dante's in these storylines too. All right, this second second leaked plot is that creepy Cyrus Renault is shot and there are so many suspects. So right now, Cyrus is a free man, still behaving very badly. He keeps showing up to his sister Laura's house uninvited. He brings gifts for Ace Cassidine. He asks to see the kid. He's quick to remind Spencer that he owes him. And now he's done this whole thing with sneaking into a confessional. I mean... The suspect list of when he gets shot is going to be huge. Some people, speaking of suspects, think that Cyrus might have killed Austin, but he's denied it. Laura and his brother Marty really want to believe it. It's hard to say. I don't even know if the writers have decided who shot him yet. I mean, let's be real. We know that they sometimes do things on the fly and they don't think them through. One person in Port Chuck decides that Cyrus Renault is too much of a threat to remain free. They take a shot at him to take him out like the trash that he is. And there's no word from this leak whether or not Cyrus survives the shooting. But either way, it's still a good who done it because they need answers. But the list of suspects could be basically Port Charles phone book, except the phone books really don't exist anymore. I don't think. I hope not. Gosh, I would hate to have one land on my front porch. So a shocking person is accused of taking the shot at him. I mean, who? there's lots of people that could be accused. Ava Jerome, Nina Reeves, if he's the one who blabs her secret, Sonny Corinthos, Dex Heller, Laura Spencer for him putting Lulu into a coma. I don't think she would do it, but if you're talking about shocking suspects, Laura would definitely be shocking. He has hurt so many people that I think it'll be very hard to narrow down who shot him, and it's not like the PCPD is exactly a crack group of detectives either. 
So then a familiar face returns to town to defend the person who is accused. I don't know if they mean that it's a lawyer. And gosh, wouldn't wouldn't it be great if Rick Lansing was back? He was a crack lawyer. So we'll see. I'm always hoping to see Rick back. All right. The third leak is that there is a threat to the Cassidines. In 2024, the General Hospital leaker says someone threatens the Cassidines, maybe a culprit who's very close to home, and the families unite to find out who's messing with them because, you know, there's Cassidines and Alexis's family and Laura's family. There's some with the last name Cassidine and with not. There's a fair amount of Cassidines around. So the threat seems to be focused on the younger family members and with everyone not under the same roof, it may be easier to target stragglers who are all alone. I personally feel like because part of the leak is that it's someone close to home, it could be Charlotte Cassidine targeting the other family members based on more things that Victor has said to her. However, we do also know that Valentine Cassidine is going to be off screen for a while. James Patrick Stewart said he's taking a six month break from the soap. So it's unclear if this plot is going to wait until he's back in like late summer, fall 2024, or if it happens without him. I did expect him to take Charlotte with him when he went, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he asked Laura to keep her granddaughter while he goes to do whatever. So it's all a big kind of question mark. It could also be Nicholas Cassidine recast back from the dead, as everybody knows by now, ready to mess with his family. I mean, Nick is so dark. The last few times we saw him, there's no telling what he might do. All right, the fourth leak. Fenn's trial brings a stunning return of a big character. In 2024, Fenn's trial happens. This is for the malpractice suit. He's not sure his career will survive the accusations against him. If you don't recall, the patient in question died of stage four cancer after Finn treated him for a tapeworm. He recommended further testing. The guy refused to come in to have the test done. And when he finally did come back around, his cancer was so late stage, there was no treatment options. So someone familiar comes back to be an expert witness for the plaintiff, somebody who brings out Finn's private issues. I feel pretty certain that it's going to be Dr. Griffin Monroe. You may recall back in 2017, I mean, it's been a minute, but Finn and Griffin had several heated arguments over Finn's addiction, which was in full force at the time. Griffin had threatened to tell Chief of Staff Monica Quartermain, she was chief at the time, that Finn was using. If you don't remember, that was back when Finn was stealing pills from patient trays that nurses would leave sitting around. He was completely in the throes of addiction. I think that was the time when he basically tied himself to a chair in his Metricourt suite or duct taped himself to like ride, ride it out and detox. So it definitely sounds like Finn's past addiction issues will be made public. It could put his relationship with Liz at risk and it could absolutely call into question his judgment about what he did with this patient. They might even imply that he's still on drugs. This could get so ugly. And Griffin Monroe would absolutely be a great witness for the plaintiffs because he's a well-respected doctor. He worked closely with Finn and he definitely knows that Finn was a pill-popping addict. And just to reinforce that it definitely looks like it's Griffin Monroe, other info related to this leak and return say he's connected to Anna. And remember, Griffin is Duke Lavery's son and he was friends with Liz both of which are true when it comes to Griffin. All right, the fifth and final leak is that Christina Carenthos is torn between her new girlfriend, Blaze, and living an honest life. So the leak says Christina Carenthos has a busy 2024. She will be on the front burner a lot next year. She's the egg donor and surrogate for her sister, Molly Lansing, and her domestic partner, TJ Ashford. And despite the obstacles we're seeing now, it all comes together in 2024. Christina will be pregnant with a baby for her sister and her partner. 
Christina is also busy working on her LGBTQIA safe space youth center, but her personal life could become a serious obstacle. So there's a fundraiser because Christina's project needs more money than what her dad had given her. And Christina's new girlfriend, Blaze, will be the headliner singing at the event, and that's when things get problematic. The press gets a tip that Christina and Blaze are involved and in a relationship, and there's going to be questions asked. Blaze thinks this will ruin her career and land her in hot water with her very traditional family. So that leaves Christina in a hard place. Her charity is all about letting people live their lives openly and honestly, the whole born this way thing. Uh, and Christina doesn't want to live a lie. She doesn't want to lie in the press. She doesn't want to be closeted like this. But at the same time, Christina also doesn't want to lose Blaze. So this is all going to get very messy in 2024, according to the leaker. All right, that is the entire leaked info we have for you. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our general hospital updates, spoilers, news, and more. As always, this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs> 